Hey, I'm Chris Phyllis with the HomeWise Group, and here is your Charlotte real estate market update. All right, listings are up 10% from last year. Under contract and closed sales activity are down 5%. So there's more homes for sale, fewer transactions happening. Now, the median price is right about 413, still up a little bit from previous. And now the inventory, even though there's more homes hitting the market, the months of supply is still pretty low. It's 2. Point three months, which basically means if there are no other homes to hit the market, how long would it take the existing amount of homes on the market? How long would it take those to close? And that is 2.3 months, basically. So it's not that long. Balance is, you know, ideally four to six months, well, about four to five months, I'd say on average. So we're still, we still have a ways to go there. All right. And the big news, as you probably have already heard, is the feds have lowered the interest rate lower to the half a percent, which is about a quarter percent more than what they were anticipating. And so the Fed funds rate is like this overnight rate that banks use to lend money to one another. It does have an impact on the mortgage rate. Now that has actually already kind of been factored into the current rate. So the the Fed funds rate now is 4.75 to 5%. It's actually a range, not one specific percent. Go figure, just makes things confusing. But basically the mortgage rates are right around 6% right now. So that's a big drop. I mean, in October, of last year, they were as high as 8% for a little bit. And they've hovered in the high sevens, mid sevens for several months. And so right now they're down around 6%. Now the expectations are that rates will continue to go down. So they're, they're thinking maybe another quarter to a half percent drop by the end of this year potentially. And then by the end of 2020, we could see one and a half percent lower than what the rates are currently at. So right now, if there's 6%, if, if that does happen, we could see rates in the low 4% range. So it's all to be determined. You know, a lot of this can change month to month as we've already kind of witnessed, you know, they tell us one thing and, you know, we'll see something different. But basically what I'm seeing too, just talking to, to people, a lot of sellers are kind of holding off and maybe waiting until after the election to make a decision to maybe put their house on the market in the spring or if they're going to, you know, sell and buy another property. That's kind of what I'm seeing too. But that being said, there's probably some opportunity for people who are looking to purchase a property right now because I think there's a lot of people just on standby. Everybody's kind of, and this happens every election cycle, actually. We saw this in the previous election where people just kind of take a moment to just kind of pause everything. And so I'm not saying to do do anything right now, however, but if you are kind of looking for things and you see an opportunity, don't be hesitant to make an offer on something because I think right now with lower competition, uh, you can probably find some good deals out there. So if you have any questions, definitely don't hesitate to reach out. Happy to answer any questions for you at any time. Hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you later.